I've been here in India, all I've done is gorged on delicious Indian cuisine. I've had sweets, I've had savouries, I've had yummy snacks, I've had all sorts of main meals, puddings, desserts. It's all been bliss and wonderful. Now, I'm not saying I've become really fat, but when I go back to London, I'm going to have to go into cargo hold in excess baggage because they only allow 23 kilos. So, I've decided to order something light and snacky. And I know for a fact that Indian food does have some healthier alternatives. So I'm going to try these out and see what they taste like. Well, they look nice. Thank you, thank you. Now the British are obsessed with bread. They love bread, bread and more bread. So this is a nice idea to spice up your bread bits. And there's a chutney here as well. Now it's normally sarnies in the UK. Sarnies are sandwiches. Everybody takes their packed sandwiches to work. But I wouldn't mind taking this to work. This has so much flavor. Mmm. Good taste. Love it. And this is lightly sauteed. So it's not really heavy on the oil or anything. My friends like brown bread. And this would be good with brown bread. A bit of tomato for a bit of color. Mmm. Yeah, wonderful. Really nice. I like this dish. Lots of green bits as well. A bit of capsicum. Bell peppers. Good for you as well. Lots of spice. I can taste cumin, ginger, a hint of chili. It's wonderful. It's a nice way of eating bread. It's really lovely and jazzed up. This is so indulgent, yet so light. And I've never seen paneer look like this before. So romantic, really intimate. I like the cute heart shapes. Look at the way the heart shapes have been done. I think they've used a heart cutter. Gorgeous. Isn't it sweet? It's really cute. I'm going to bite into this heart. That's not the only heart I've broken. Generally in India, paneer is served in a sauce, a rich sauce. It's very creamy. A lot of paneer is also deep fried. This is lightly sauteed, so I can taste the flavors of the cheese. Yummy. But I think it's got a hint of paprika on top. They've sprinkled something lovely and red. Now these amazing dishes have given me an idea to try out something new, which I know you're going to love. So I'm going to get back into the kitchen, tie my hair back and get cooking. If you're buying bread to make sandwiches or some toast, it's worth getting it on a regular basis, like two to three days. It's horrible if you keep bread in the fridge for five to six days it starts to turn stale and it becomes really quite hard